Now mums, if you're anything like me, by this point in the new year you'll have fallen off the wagon, ditched the diet and be desperately trying to lose those extra pounds you put on so quickly over Christmas. Well, I don't have a magic wand, but I know someone who can help. Today I've come to meet nutritionist from West London Mama 3, Pip Fleming. Follow me. Properly overindulging since sort of mid November. <laughs> so, a cup of yes, tea? please. Am I allowed tea? Red bush tea today. Um, nice and calming, I thought. So, do you fancy some of that? Yeah, well, I don't really know what red bush is. Well, it's a South African um, tea um, and it's just very rich in antioxidants. Tastes quite similar to normal tea, so. Has it got caffeine in it? No caffeine at all. No, caffeine. no green tea's got a bit of caffeine in, but red bush has got no caffeine in, so. Mm. But it's that rich. That's, it's quite nice, actually. It's quite a nice alternative. People getting, you know, if they're stopping caffeine for any reason, it's sort of a nice one for them to, to move on to. What about coffee? I mean, is coffee the devil? It's not. No. <laughs> wow, that's fascinating. Um, funnily enough, the overwhelming body of evidence now is that coffee is not, it's not as bad for us as we first thought. Yes, for some people, you can become agitated, you can upset your sleep, it can make you jittery, but actually it's very good for endurance and mood and keeping you going throughout the day. So one good cup of coffee a day, let's not feel guilty about it. There's been loads in the press at the moment about sugar and how terrible it is for us. Is it really the killer? It is. I'm afraid I really tried hard to think of something good about sugar, but I can't think of one. It's completely refined. It gives that quick energy up high and then it's full after that. And the body, um, it takes a lot of nutrients like chromium and vitamin C to actually use sugar. It's stored as fat. What can we have then if we, if we want to have something sweet? Because yeah. we can't live our lives without something sweet. There's a product called Xylitol. It's a sugar alternative, but it's a natural one. It's not a like saccharin or not, not, not sort of sweetener. It's from the birch tree. Um, our, when we eat it, our bodies can't really break it down very well. So it gives that sweet taste, but the body's not using it like it uses sugar. It just can't, it can't break it down. It just comes under different brand names, but Xylitol is the So you could use ingredient. that in cakes. You could use it in cakes, cookies, in cookies um, put it on porridge in the morning or your rice porridge or it looks like sugar and it tastes like sugar. So you said we can drink coffee, mm. but we should only have one a day. Yeah. What can we have when we want another hot drink? Have you heard of matcha tea? I, I've heard of matcha tea, okay, but I don't like know a, much about it. Smell it. It's very grassy. Ooh, it's the yeah. whole, it's the green leaf actually powdered in powder. It's, and it's not an infusion. You're actually drinking the whole leaf. So you're getting a lot more benefit of the actual, the properties of green tea in a much more concentrated form. It's, um, you need to put it through a sieve just to get rid of all those little bubbles there. Yeah. And then you want to put some very, very hot water over it. Not, preferably not actually boiling. You don't want to damage all those beautiful polyphenols that are in there. Um, and then we very slowly just whisk it into, whisk it into a small, a paste and then slowly add, up, add in the water to make a Hot and it's important tea. to whisk, is it? Very important, otherwise it'll just all be gloopy float and up. float up, exactly. Um, and there you've wow. got a very antioxidant rich drink. Okay, we've got to have a try of the green, the green tea. stuff. <laughs> And it's very, very good for sustaining energy throughout the day. Do you day know what? Very this good for this does taste a bit good for you. <laughs> <laughs>